From the moment Aurelia was born, her wail struck a chord with the attending physician, a cry so sorrowful that it lingered in his memory until his final days. He professed he had never before, nor would he ever again, hear such a heart-wrenching sound that seemed to carry the weight of immense misfortune. It was as if Aurelia knew from her very first breath that life would not grant her any favors. On that very day, Aurelia was placed up for adoption as her parents were unable to care for her. Despite her charm and good manners at the orphanage, Aurelia was consistently overlooked, leading her to drift from one orphanage to another until she reached adulthood. Throughout these years, Aurelia endured numerous health issues stemming from exhaustion. Once she was no longer able to stay at the orphanages, she found herself thrust into an unfamiliar world, ill-equipped to fend for herself. Consequently, the ensuing years saw her engaged in relentless labor. Barely compensated with scant food and shelter that offered no real protection, men occasionally visited, offering slightly more in exchange for her company, leaving her more desolate and shattered than before. Aurelia faced three pregnancies during this time, each ending in miscarriage due to her physical strain. Each day, as Aurelia awoke, she pondered her reasons for persisting through life. Aurelia realized that her most precious asset was her resilient heart. Prepared to withstand whatever fate might hold, determined to endure life's trials without circumventing the pain, she clung to the hope that her suffering would eventually be rewarded, perhaps not in this life but in the hereafter or another incarnation, should it exist. Despite being overlooked and underestimated, Aurelia's strength was unmatched, yet she derived little satisfaction as the years rolled by, despite the advancing years and the lines etched on her face. She felt as vigorous as in her youth. Now at the age of 50, Aurelia had abandoned any hope of experiencing what others referred to as love, resigning herself to the belief that happiness might not arrive within her lifetime. Yet, she persisted. Aurelia had spent her life in persistent solitude, nourished only by her dreams of one day reaching the heavenly kingdom, where angels would enfold her and offer the solace she deeply craved. As years turned to decades, Aurelia aged, devoid of joy, companionship, or any semblance of comfort, save for the company of two aged dogs that never left her side, mirroring her in their old age, she continued to eke out a living with whatever job she could find, and daily, she'd trek to the river beneath the bridge to cleanse herself, however, on a fateful day, her routine took a perilous turn when she misstepped and tumbled into a quagmire, quickly becoming ensnared and unable to free herself. Having endured a life marred by adversity, Aurelia, now 92, faced this predicament with resignation. As she sank deeper into the mud, she embraced the notion of death as a release, feeling at peace with the imminent end of her earthly struggles. Aurelia had long accepted her lot in life and never once considered ending her suffering prematurely. Yet, in this moment, it was the indifferent forces of nature she contended with, not her own hand and she chose not to fight back, unexpectedly, her loyal canine companions, who had always shied away from water due to past traumas, mustered their courage and rushed to her aid. Despite their age and fears, their loyalty was unshakable. As Aurelia was sinking, her dogs clung to her, struggling valiantly to keep her above the mud. It was then that passers-by on the bridge noticed the commotion below. Initially, they mistook the dog's efforts for an attack on a presumed carcass, from their vantage point. It appeared the dogs were mauling something. And it wasn't until they approached closer that they realized a person was involved. The scene was horrifying, and the onlookers were in shock. When Aurelia managed to open her eyes and look up at the crowd, panic ensued, and a woman in the group fainted, under the impression that the dogs were attacking Aurelia. The crowd was terrified thinking they were witnessing a brutal attack, while in reality, the dogs were desperately trying to save her. Realizing the misunderstanding and fearing for her dogs, Aurelia summoned the strength to clarify the situation. She explained that, contrary to what the onlookers believed, the dogs were actually her saviors, attempting to rescue her from the perilous mud into which she had accidentally fallen, as she descended deeper, it was miraculous how they worked together to rescue her within moments, securing the elderly lady's safety. Overwhelmed by exhaustion, she collapsed. 
Having endured a lifelong struggle, it was only now that her body began to falter, hospitalized for several days, she recuperated, but the harsh truth was that Aurelia no longer possessed the strength to face the streets after her brush with mortality, unable to fathom returning to begging or tolerating others' scorn, she resolved on her discharge day to leave the city, seek out her dogs, and follow them until her body could endure no more. She planned to find a serene spot in nature to await her impending death, already contemplating where her dogs would be when she discovered them waiting at the hospital entrance, though they hadn't been allowed inside during her stay, her faithful companions had patiently awaited her return, tears streamed down Aurelia's face upon seeing them, and she was astounded to find that her beloved dogs were not the only ones there. Among those gathered were several individuals who had assisted her escape from the swamp, they were prepared to offer Aurelia a chance to spend her twilight years with dignity, as she had always desired, amid nature, one of them owned a small farm, visited only on weekends, which would suit her perfectly for full-time living, moreover, others were ready to assist with groceries and whatever else was necessary to ensure her comfort, astonished by their kindness. Aurelia pinched herself to confirm the reality of her situation, seeing herself on that farm, ready to live among her dogs in the countryside, she experienced true happiness for the first time, after waiting 92 years, her dreams were finally realized, now resembling a joyful little girl with a new toy, and although her body wasn't as agile as it was 50 years ago, she dedicated each day to nurturing her garden, growing flowers and fruit, and relishing the countryside with her dogs, who shared her contentment. In the final years of her life, Aurelia was finally able to embrace happiness. After enduring nearly a century of hardships, she cherished her last five years as a time of peace and joy, free from the worries of tomorrow. With everything she needed, Aurelia felt a deep appreciation for beauty and tranquility. Although these five years of happiness could not erase the pain of the previous 92 years, she was thankful she hadn't perished in the river that day, if she had, she would have missed out on these precious moments, these years were a sufficient reward for her long suffering, when Aurelia passed away, her loyal dogs followed soon after, they had lived solely for her and, now too old, they joined her in rest, they now lie together beneath a lush tree on Aurelia's favorite hill, where some still recall their tale with affection and optimism, after listening to this tale. What are your impressions? We'd love to hear from you in the comments section below, your insights are valuable to us. Now, we have another engaging story, let's proceed to the next one. Recently, Carla Swindle, who runs SNK Quarter Horses in Fayette, Alabama, witnessed a deeply saddening event when one of her horses died shortly after giving birth to a foal named Ty. The foal's mother fell ill shortly after delivery and despite receiving medical treatment, her condition rapidly deteriorated. She eventually succumbed, leaving behind the young foal. At just nine days old, Ty was left motherless and needing care, presenting Swindle with the challenge of nurturing an orphan foal. However, on the very night of this tragedy, Ty found an unlikely companion. On that critical night, an Australian cattle dog named Zip, who usually paid little attention to the yearly foals, suddenly became Ty's protector. Carla Swindle, Zip's owner, explained to the dodo that although Zip typically glanced at the foals, he never showed much interest, yet, on this particular March evening, it seemed Zip sensed he was needed, Ty's mother deteriorated quickly after the birth, and despite treatments, she did not improve, during these challenging moments, as Swindle stayed by the side of the Marin foal, Zip followed and remained close by, Swindle spent the night in the barn, hoping to save the mare, with Zip beside her in the barn aisle. Lying next to the foal and whining, clearly aware that something was amiss, the following morning, Ty was motherless, but not alone, Zip continued to keep close to the newborn, offering comfort and companionship, his presence seemed to soothe Ty, who appeared relaxed and content around the dog, Swindle observed that it felt as though Ty understood Zip's intentions to help, which she found incredibly touching. For the next six weeks, Zip was constantly by Ty's side. Whenever Swindle approached the barn to feed Ty, 
Zip would be the first to greet the young horse. Every time I headed to the barn, Zip would rush to the stall and wait for me there, often reaching the barn before I did, Swindle recounted. As soon as I opened the door, he'd rush in ahead of me. If Ty was lying down, Zip would gently lay his head on him. As the months passed, Ty grew healthy and strong, thanks in part to the care from his adoptive dad, nowadays. Ty spends most of his days thriving under the watchful eyes of both Swindle and Zip, showcasing a unique bond that is formed between a dog and a horse. Out in the field, the older mare is showing her younger brother the ropes of life as a horse. Meanwhile, although Zip continues to follow Swindle to the barn, he no longer pleads to enter the stall with Ty. The colt has become a bit boisterous, Swindle mentioned, as the young horse tried to engage in rough play. Causing Zip to keep his distance, the proud father realizes that Ty is simply asserting his independence, which doesn't diminish the bond they share. Swindle noted that whenever the foal was in need, Zip was right there to support him. Now that the foal seems fine on his own, Zip and he have naturally drifted apart. However, this has allowed Zip to open his heart to a new young member of the family. He's really taken to my granddaughter, Swindle shared, whenever she visits. He rushes over to her, treating her with the same affection he showed the foal. He truly enjoys her company. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and consider sharing it with your friends and family. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.